So the other day I was at the casino and I know that's not the best place for a guy like me in his early 20s to be and be spending money, but you know, I wanted to have a little bit of fun. I enjoy playing Texas Hold'em poker. Now, after I leave the casino, I lose 400 bucks. My buddy at the bar that I went to, he looks at me and he's like, dude, how do you just lose 400 bucks and not be taken back by that or distraught by it? And I, give it some time, I thought, I'm like, okay, well, I don't really care about losing $400, but more specifically, why in general do I not care? A lot of times you'll find with women specifically, but men also, especially in today's day and age, they get very emotional when they talk about things or something happens to them. You know, maybe they go to work, they have a bad day and they get very emotionally polarized by those situations. Meaning it's either they're very happy and they're very proud or they're very sad. What I found is that it doesn't really matter who you are, where you live, what you do. If you can constrain your emotional connection to events that happen in your life to be in that neutral area, instead of at the extreme on the positive side and the extreme on the negative side, you will live a much more consistent and regular life. That doesn't mean that you can't celebrate when something good happens to you, or it doesn't mean that you should not feel some type of way if something bad happens to you. It just means containing your emotions so that your head is at the most level playing field and is able to make the best move in every situation. So for me at the casino, while I may have lost $400, and yeah, that sucks, even though I make a decent amount of money, I'm not going to let that one action in my life impact myself moving forward in the work that I'm doing, in the relationships that I have, in the evening that I would have after I left the casino. Even if I had won 800, it wouldn't have mattered. All right, now we'll take a look at some of the reasons as to why that's the case for me. Some of the things that I've built up in my mind over the years. And you have to remember, if you're listening to this and you agree with me, you can't make this change instantly. It's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take training your mind when things happen. If something bad happens, you have to say, okay, John, if your name's John, let's not have a polarized reaction. In the moment, you have to do that, even if you may be feeling another way. Conversely, if you have a really good thing happen to you, you have to say, okay, this is great, let me enjoy it, but let me not get too excited and too in the zone because I have decisions to make in the future. So number one, I fully understand that one day I'm going to die. What does this mean? Well, to me, it means that in reality, nothing really matters. There have been human beings on this planet that have lived before me and will live after me that will experience much worse or much better things that are happening to them. And so what does that mean for me? It means ultimately my life is meaningless. Same with you, same with your friends, same with your sisters, your parents, etc. There are some rare exceptions, right? Some people really have that desire and that dream to be somebody who's remembered for, you know, the next century or the next few centuries. But realistically, if you look at it, do you remember who your great, great, great grandfather was? Even if they were successful, even if you come from a wealthy family, does anybody in your family really know who they are? That's a question you should really ask yourself. And the reason why that's important is because they've done studies, they've done research from wealthy families and families that have had a, a royal history, for example. And the people in those families didn't even know that their great, great, great grandfather you know, grandmother, they didn't even know they were royalty. So it's crazy to me that you could be a king three, 400 years ago and everybody today doesn't even really know who you are unless you're at the very, very, very top. Number two, if you act to serve God, you don't have to worry about the reaction because either way, if you do the right thing, you'll be fine in this life or thereafter. Now, it doesn't matter what religion you have or what religion you believe in, or if you don't believe in religion, I mean, I guess that now, we'll address that in a different video. But my point is that if you act in a righteous manner, if you act in a way that serves God and ultimately subsequently serves mankind and you do the right thing, then you don't have to worry about whether or not your actions will result in a positive or negative outcome. Now, if you have that in the back of your mind and you know that God is always watching with what you're doing, it'll be very easy to maintain your level-headedness if something doesn't go your way. And then number three, every experience serves you in some way. 
positive or negative. If you lose 400 bucks at the casino, hopefully there's a lesson that you can take away so that the next time you go there, there's a reduced percentage chance that that happens to you. On the same note, if you have a big success in your life, maybe you build a business and you're scaling it with paid ads, which is what I do, and you, you find a, a strategy or, or a tactic that works really well, maybe that's an experience that can help serve you in future businesses, right? That's kind of a plain example. It really only applies in a big sense to the negative things because you always learn from your failures. But what I find is that regardless of what happens in my day-to-day -day life, I have experiences that are given to me that I'm able to use and then serve me throughout the rest of my life. Every day is a learning experience and therefore the negative things that happen will help improve the chances that those same negative things don't happen in the future. And to me, that's a big win. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be posting a little bit more regularly with some of these interesting videos. And until next time, take care.